Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to break down everything we know about Windows 11. Yes, Microsoft just announced official details about Windows 11, something that has leaked for a little while now. We even got some screenshots and some early looks at it thanks to some beta testers who apparently didn't honor the NDA on that. But now we have official details about Windows 11 and there's some really cool stuff here. We're gonna be breaking it all down in one quick little video. So if you didn't have time to sit through the almost hour long presentation, that, by the way, was a little glitchy. Microsoft, hey, improve your streaming quality. It went down quite a few times during it, especially at the beginning. But we're going to be breaking that all down for you, so you don't need to sit here for an hour because I already did that for you. First, though, if you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here as we try to grow this brand new channel. I would really appreciate it. And hopefully we can help you learn something new. All right. If you weren't there for the big event, let's jump in some of the big highlights of what's new in Windows 11 and starting off with a Windows app store. Yes, the concept that's been very popular on mobile devices with Android, iOS, and more. At one place, you go to download all the programs you want or most. Windows is improving the Windows store and allowing more favorable terms for app or program software developers to have all your programs in one spot. I really like this. I like the ability with my PC gaming and more to just kind of go into Steam or Origin or wherever and download everything. I don't have to think about where's that software disk, what website did I, did I get that on Amazon, did I get that direct from Adobe, Corral, wherever. Have it all in one spot. And Windows is making very favorable terms to encourage developers to put their apps into the Windows Store. And this also will mean that when you move from device to device, you could very quickly download all your apps into one spot. A really cool feature to really improve Windows app or software development. I think we're at the point where we're just going to call them apps. Even more important, I think, big news is Android apps are coming to Windows 11 natively. No third party software to install, no workarounds to make them happen. Yep, I think this is being done through the Amazon App Store there that has a bunch of uh, Android apps, but you'll be able to quickly play or use Windows or Android apps on Windows, which is a cool feature there. You really like this ability because there are certain apps out there that are not available on PC, especially with the growing trend of mobile gaming on PC. That should be a pretty nice feature. And it also brings a whole li a new list of apps to Windows. Helps it stand out from Mac OS there with that. A couple other big things, well, actually a lot of other big things. One of the big other noticeable changes is improved visuals with Windows 11 that take the theme into a single kind of unified look. Everything will kind of work together. The background image will kind of match the toolbar and more, a lot more transparency and more with it. Windows is also bring out a new widget slider. Now, if you've seen the last Windows 10 update, you probably noticed in the right-hand corner, there is now the ability to see your weather, your stocks, your news, and more all in one spot. They're actually expanding that. They're using an AI feature to kind of predict what kind of widgets and information you want, you need. Even includes travel times to work, for example. But that will now slide out, cover your whole screen with widgets and more to see your weather, see your radar, see stocks, see breaking news, see the travel time to maybe an appointment or more you have on your calendar. It's all gonna be right there, which is a pretty cool feature. And Windows 11 will really ramp up those um, widgets support. Now Microsoft says that Windows 11 will have significantly faster load times. They've really worked on refining the software OS to make everything just go faster. Loading programs faster, opening the, or uh, booting the computer, opening Windows once you unlock it, and more will all go faster with it. Not only will Windows overall be faster, but the updates will be faster. 40% smaller updates will auto happen in the background, making the ability to update your PC a lot more seamless, faster, and better overall. Microsoft also says Windows 11 will use less power, so that's great, more green, using less power for businesses and more, which is great. But more importantly, better battery life. Yes, they say Windows 11 will have significantly improved for um, battery life compared to Windows 10, which I like. One thing Microsoft was vague on, and usually they are, you know, Apple's vague on this too, but they say Windows 11 will have significantly improved security features to make your data safer and help protect you from online threats. What that means, we don't know. Often they don't like to lay out a roadmap on this because that also allows us the enemy to know exactly how to get around it if they know exactly what they do. 
Now there is a total refresh of the theme here. Windows has for years had the start button on the bottom left, and now they're sliding it to the middle of your screen. So all your icons will kind of hang out in the center of your screen um, with an improved taskbar there and better grouping of different um, icons and tasks and more all in one spot in the middle of your screen. We'll see if that's an option to change, but that does, does seem to be where Microsoft's moving, more of having everything pop up in the middle of your screen rather than in the far left corner of it. And Microsoft also says they're going to be deeper diving into 365, cloud data storage, and more integration into Windows 11. So if you're working on, let's say, an Excel spreadsheet or more um, on one computer, you can easily jump from one computer to the next to the next, and your data will just follow you as you log into your Microsoft account. Everything is stored in the cloud and locally at the same time. If you use Windows 365, I do, we use that for work. It is very nice to be able to go, hey, I'm on my desktop, I'm doing this, I got my laptop, I'm over there, and more, which is a pretty nice feature there. Now, one of the big things that Windows uh, has done for a while is the ability to snap windows, right? If you want multiple windows open on one screen, you can just kind of snap them to different areas on your computer, and they all seamlessly float there and it allows you to have, for instance, edit one Word document, have another Word document open right next to it. Now, Windows 11 is improving snap layouts to, so you can have multiple windows open at the same time, three, four, or more, and making it a lot easier to adjust. Maybe you want one window to have a bigger part of the screen, another window to be smaller, because maybe it just notes next to yours. Windows is really working hard to make sure that they have the ability to have multiple windows open on your screen very easily with it, with the new snap layouts. Windows taskbar has also been updated to make it easier to find what you're working on. As you work maybe on a Word document and it notices you're often jumping back and forth between other documents, it will move those uh, icons next to each other on your taskbar to make it very easy for you to find them. And speaking of multiple windows being open, Windows 11 is going to have better support for external displays. For example, uh, when you disconnect an external display, the windows and icons that were open on that display will shrink down and minimize to your taskbar. If you reconnect a display to your laptop, it will auto reopen all the windows and everything you had exactly the way it was when you disconnected that display. So no longer do you have to reset up a display every time you uh, disconnect one with all the preferred windows. I love this because if you are like me and you're traveling back and forth from home to work with a laptop, connecting it from a display there to a display here, having it auto connect all those into one spot is a really cool feature that I really love. So hopefully they keep improving that. And they say Windows will just better recognize external displays and better manage them. Speaking of jumping back and forth from home to work and more, Windows will now have different desktop kind of themes or modes, I think they called them, that will allow you, for example, have a work mode, which will hide all of your gaming icons and more and just bring up your work apps. When you get home, you can go into gaming mode and all your gaming icons will replace your work icons and more. That way you can have different modes and not maybe be tempted by having your uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield icons sit right next to your Microsoft Excel Office 365 icon. And it will allow you to just jump around between those. Speaking of work in 365 and more, Microsoft is integrating Teams, and their video and chat services into Windows better. So right in the Windows software will be full support for Teams um, and you'll be able to chat with people, do video calls and more all in one spot without needing to jump back and forth between programs or more. Right in your taskbar will now be a full access to Microsoft Teams for both work meetings and to chat with family and friends. It does seem though that Skype taking a back seat in Teams is the future. Though I've heard that a lot of the software for Teams has come from Skype and different places out there. Now touch screens on laptops and more are becoming more and more popular with Windows and Windows tablets. And Microsoft is greatly improving touch experience for Windows. Bigger icons, better ability to drag and drop and do different things on your screen using your finger. And a new and improved touch keyboard with better voice commands and voice dictation all come into Windows 11 to make it a much better, much more easy to use voice dictation service out there. So we'll keep a close eye on this, but it definitely does seem that Windows 11 is going to heavily focus on touch. The other thing out there right now is that Windows 11 will have far better PC gaming support. Auto HDR, 
better direct storage, which means games you use often will load faster and be better prioritized. It seems Microsoft is making gaming a major focus for Windows 11, as I think they've noticed that a majority of people that use Windows 11 for home now use it for gaming. Increasingly, a lot of everyday tasks are being done by phones and different uh, tablets and more out there. The need for a Windows PC just to surf the web is quickly dying, and with gaming becoming even bigger on PC, Microsoft is fully supporting that. Well, there you go. There are a bunch of highlights. I am very excited about the new App Store. I really like the ability to have all my programs in one spot, making getting a new PC or refreshing yours really easy, just like you do on your phone. It auto-downloads them to your computer. I love Android apps coming to it. I think that's going to be a big feature to bring a lot of usable apps to Windows PC. And I actually love a lot of the changes. We'll see how people respond to a center Windows start button with the center Windows icons. I think that's so small. I know people like to grab onto those things and it may be annoying at first, but overall, I think that that's a very minor thing in comparison to what seems to be much better, faster load, better battery power, which I think is going to become increasingly important, and all the other little features like better cloud integration to take your data from one PC to the next. I love the external monitor support. That's very big for me. I use that a lot and more. Well, let me know what you think. What do you uh, want from Windows 11? What really stands out? And will you upgrade? I definitely think I will be making that jump when the time comes. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help us. Hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world around you.